Hello everybody and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis video. Uh, today we obviously have a very special moment because as you can see already on the chart we are about to reach all time highs. Uh, in this video I'm going to cover the last levels of Bitcoin. What should you be looking for when an all time high breaks out? What is currently support and what are we working on right now? In addition to that, I'm also going to take a quick look on Ethereum. Uh, this video is uh, once again meant to be a short, powerful, no-nonsense video in which I will be going into technical analysis um, for the purpose for you to learn how to read the charts and uh, for educational purposes. So hope you enjoy and see you in a second. Cheers. In front of me I have the Bitcoin chart and as you can see we are really 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 close to all-time highs maybe you can already hear it in my voice um, but I am really not that excited I'm really not being led by emotions and the reason for that is uh, because I trust technical analysis that is what I trade off I seriously literally have not uh, really been aware of the whole ETF approval kind of thing um, the funny thing is actually uh, I, I only really learned about this less than a week ago uh, in, in, in our own community and um, I got the question there what do you think of this ETF and my answer really was I don't care and the reason for that is because I use technical analysis to trade news anything of the sorts opinions of what Bitcoin should do or will do by so called experts uh, are really not relevant to me, uh, to be honest, uh, because the chart, literally, give me a chart and I'll tell you the news. And um, at the moment, we are at a very pivotal level, obviously one of the most pivotal level that a chart can have, which is all-time highs. So I wanted to share with you my view on how I'm looking to uh, potentially trade this and what I'm going to look for next should we break to the upside and what one would be looking for should we break to the downside then i'll also have a quick look at ethereum which i already said in the in the beginning of the video um, before i forget if you like here what we do then and if you want to learn more about uh, how to read a chart as well then don't hesitate to sign up for free at www.chartchampions.com and become a member and start learning uh, to read the charts yourself so on to Bitcoin, uh, currently <clears throat> I am looking literally at three levels, uh, which are to be classed as a daily naked point of control uh, and a daily level and the all time high. How I got this level specifically uh, is a little bit uh, too complex and out of the scope of this video. But what does matter is that we did hit this level almost to the dollar exactly. And basically what is really happening right now, we have the all time high above us here at 64,990 on the Bybit chart. Um, what happened yesterday is we have breached through the daily level, which was the last daily level taken from pretty much the all time high, but then from the candle close, that's how we draw the levels. And um, this is where we got a uh, little bit of a rejection, not too strong, um, but it made us backtest this daily level almost to the dollar exactly. And from there on out, we are simply continuing to range, uh, which makes the Bitcoin chart at the moment really not too complicated because we literally have these two levels as our framework of pretty much today. If we break to the upside, then we can look for the all-time highs to break and see what the reaction is going to look like there. Two things obvious can, obviously can happen, or actually three things can happen. We can touch these all-time highs, maybe breach through it a little bit, then get rejected, and then turn downwards. Alternatively, we breach the level, we consolidate a little bit above the level or around the level, then head up. Or the last option would be we just smash straight through the level. Um, those are the three options that literally can happen. And the same literally goes for the downside. We can either just fall through through the downside. We can 
touch the level again, consolidate a little bit and then go through or we touch the level again and then instead we reverse and make our way to all time highs either way. Already these three levels and the reason why I wanted to show these three levels for this video is only these three levels already gives six to seven possible scenarios of what could happen. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, the reason is because these scenarios you can use to build yourself a plan on how to potentially trade it forward. Ask yourself, what am I going to do if this happens? What am I going to do if this happens? And then again, what am I going to do if that happens? So that is something that I'm going to let yourself figure out because I'm giving the levels, I'm giving the possible scenarios that can happen, but I will not and I cannot ever tell you how you should trade the charts because you make the rules, you decide whatever you do, you decide when you take a win and you decide when to take a loss. So keep that in mind and um, I'm doing my part by giving you these levels. So. To summarize on Bitcoin, for me, actually really, really, really simple. Lose this level and I'm going to look for a little bit more further to the downside because that way we are breaking the current market structure. As it stands, um, no support has been lost yet. We are simply ranging and given it in the larger context, one could say that further continuation to the upside at the moment, at the moment of making this video seems the more probable thing. So I would, I would say we would at the very least test all time highs if this market structure continues to, to go up, but you can only think of all time highs once this level has been reclaimed and flipped as support. And then you could look to make your way to all time highs. And then obviously once we are at all time highs, then technical analysis uh, becomes a little bit more difficult because there simply are no more levels and literally sky is the limit. Uh, however, you can use some technical analysis tools to, to measure the strength and the length of the move, but also that goes out of the scope of this video today. Um, we do teach you, uh, we do teach this within the community, within the group, with all the live streams we're doing, uh, but out of the scope of this video. So if you are interested in, in learning more about these kind of tools, then uh, sign up in the, in the description below for free um, and become a member. Um, so that was Bitcoin in my opinion and um, taking away this ranging idea <coughs> basically on Bitcoin, one could say that we are looking almost at the exact same situation in, in Ethereum, but then on a larger scale. Because what is really happening on Ethereum? On Ethereum, uh, literally the same thing is really happening, literally. We are going sideways, simple as that. We have a weekly level above us and we have the low of the current range below us. As simple as that, in my opinion. And that's really all there is to it. We have support here at these lows of the range, whereas we also have resistance at the high of these range with essentially a weekly level just above us, which has remained untapped till the day of today. Uh, I'm talking about this weekly level over here. So for Ethereum, exactly the same thing in my opinion, given the overall context coming coming from a large accumulation zone that has taken well over a year broken out and now simply consolidating uh, below resistance uh, gives us the reason to think that this should potentially continue further to the upside but again as long as we are range bound uh, simply one should trade the range and approaching the chart like this basically shows that um, uh, small movements uh, essentially can also transform into larger ones. What do we really mean with that? Whereas we come to the conclusion that on a very long, low term time frame, we are actually in a sideways range in Bitcoin. If you simply would zoom out, 
normally one would do that on the Bitcoin chart, uh, basically. But uh, at the moment, we have just been going up in a straight line. So Ethereum provides a really good example to never forget what is really happening on the higher term time frame. At the moment, if you would zoom out to the 50 minute term time frame, then it's very clear that, that the trend seems very strong to the downside. However, if one would simply zoom out to a larger or even much larger time frame, all we are really doing is simply consolidating sideways. And um, that puts things in perspective. And um, the lesson I, I guess that I wanna, wanna, or the moral of this story is, um, don't get caught on the lower term time frames of, of whatever is, uh, is, is happening. Um, simply take your time, lean back a little bit, zoom out to a larger term time frame and try and grasp the bigger context. The, if you are if you're able to grasp the, the underlying context of an asset, then trading becomes, or reading the charts more specifically, becomes significantly less um, emotional uh, and less difficult. So um, I hope with that, I want to wrap up this video of today. I thoroughly hope you've enjoyed uh, this video, uh, giving my perspective on two, uh, on two of the main crypto assets at the moment. Closing in on all time high, uh, they are exciting times, but I would say uh, don't let the emotions get the better of you. And for this reason, I decided to do this, uh, this video and uh, hope that uh, helps you educate a little bit and take the next step in your educational journey. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a really brilliant day. Be safe, stay humble and see you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Bye.